Hello, I'm Gary Rebholtz, and I'm proud to introduce Vegas Pro 16. Over the past two years, we've made significant changes to Vegas Pro, and with version 16, we implement some of the features that you've told us that are most important to you. Motion tracking, along with flexible masking tool, so that for the first time, masking out a moving object or applying a video filter to obscure a moving face is easy to do right inside Vegas. What's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. It is Monday, it means a brand new video for you guys. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna cover the most requested topic ever, and that is the automatic motion tracking feature in Vegas Pro 16. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stand right here, and I'm going to lift up my hand, and we're gonna blur my hand with this automatic feature. So, I'm going to just do this and as you can see right now my hand is now blurred and if I move my hand around I don't have to do that frame by frame Vegas Pro is just automatically doing that and that's a really awesome feature that Vegas Pro is now having and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that works how to motion track so if you guys are excited for this tutorial make sure to smash the like button down below and as usual I will catch you guys right after the intro Okay guys, now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, I have two clips that I'm going to show you guys how to make the automatic motion tracking happen. So, the first clip is basically this driving car, as you can see. And what we're going to do is really simple, is we're going to make the headlights, well one of them, we're going to make them shine really bright. Make that light a lot brighter. So we're going to start off with the first thing. So in previous versions, when you didn't have this feature, you had to manually do everything frame by frame. That's a really great thing that they just added this feature. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to make sure that we will duplicate this clip so that we have two clips of the same one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mute the lower one and then we're going to go to the video effects tab and then we're going to pick obviously the new feature which is Beezer masking. Now we want to go ahead and pick for example this one or the circular one. You can just pick any shape that you like. We're going to just pick this circle and we're going to drag that on top of the top one. Now as you can see this is pretty new. You want to make sure that you will mask out the thing that you want to have motion tracked. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our square around this light and then what you want to do, I'm just going to make this a little bit thinner, then this menu is pretty new. So right here you have the general options that's like you can choose the blend and everything. You want to keep that on zero and then you want to click on mask one. And the really cool thing is that you can obviously, you know, choose like the feather type and everything like that. And then we're going to click on tracking. Now, as you can see right here, it says start. And that means that this plugin is going to track the entire object that you have selected through the entire clip. If I click on start, as you can see, it is adding keyframes really, really, really fast. And that is the automatic motion tracking. Now, if that is done, it will take a few seconds. Do you see all those keyframes at the bottom? You have to imagine that without this function, you have to place all these keyframes one by one. That's just gonna take such a long time. So this is very, very time saving. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the opacity of the lower clip. And now we're gonna add some brightness and contrast to it so we can actually make that light light up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go to the brightness and contrast. Let's see where it is. Here it is. I'm gonna pick the default one, drag it on top of the top one. We're gonna bring up the contrast and the brightness quite a bit as you can see like that. So if I bring up the contrast as well, this is how epic it looks. And this, it looks like this light is shining really, really bright. So if I play it back, this is the end result of the automatic motion tracking feature. This looks so neat. Are you guys ready for this? Because this is just mind blowing and this is what we've come to create. As you can see guys, the difference between this 
and this is just amazing by just doing the automatic masking as you can see it just goes so smoothly and it looks like this car has a really bright light and that is how to use the automatic motion tracking and like I've showed you guys in the intro um, I just also have this part right here I'm just gonna just lower the audio I'm gonna just do that for the same thing so I'm gonna cut where my hand is right there so I'm gonna cut it right here and then if I'm gonna move my hand like that I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. So it works exactly the same. Go to the video effects tab. You want to pick Beezer Masking, pick the default one, drag it on top of the top one, lower the opacity for, for now. And then you want to go ahead and just basically simply pick the mask or the shape of the object. I'm gonna put that one on my hand like this. And then I'm going to click on mask and I'm going to click on tracking. I'm gonna click on start. As you can see, it is creating keyframes right now. And once that is finished, we can just simply add a blur on it and then it will automatically follow the hand. I think this is my new favorite feature on Vegas Pro 16 because, because this feature is gonna come in so handy. So if I go ahead and do it like that, as you can see, your hand is maxed out. The only thing we need to do now is hire the opacity again, go to the video effects tab, click on Gaussian blur, pick the light blur, drag it on top of the top one. And if I play it back, as you can see, it is just now really smoothly following my hand. And that is it guys. This is how you use the automatic motion tracking feature in Vegas Pro 16. And it's just that mind blowing. As you can see also, if I play back the car one more time, because this looks so freaking cool and that is basically how to do it so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for the continued support i will catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new vegas 16 tutorial as always on the channel make sure to follow me on twitter and instagram and it's both at alex halford for special updates behind the scenes stuff personal stuff as well so i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video <laughs>